My BFI player choice this week is a cult classic from director Terry Zwigoff, based on the graphic novel by Daniel Close and featuring standout performances from Thora Birch and Scarlett Johansson, the Oscar-nominated Ghost World. Excuse me, I can't read the trivia question. Where in the human body is the Douglas pouch located? <laughs> Slightly below the uterus on a female. Wow, he does that every single day. A rites of passage story set during the long summer after high school graduation, a favorite of American coming of age movies. Ghost World charts the unexpected friendship between two teenage girls, Enid and Rebecca, played by Birch and Johansson respectively, and the lonely middle-aged man who they first mock and then befriend. Steve Buscemi is Seymour, the oddball who sells vintage records in a garage sale, leading the girls into a retro-inflected voyage of melancholy discovery. Zwigoff, who had achieved great acclaim with the documentary feature Crumb, collaborated with Close on the screenplay of Ghost World, a process which Close described as a very steep learning curve that involved throwing everything aside and then finding his way back to something approaching a cinematic adaptation of his book, differing significantly from the source but while retaining its spirit. Meanwhile, cinematographer Afonso Bito was tasked with capturing the visual flavor of the comic, creating an oversaturated vision of a world that exists somewhere between the poetic realism of a documentary and the alienated imagination of a modern comic strip. An eclectic soundtrack flips from Skip James's 1931 recording of Devil Got My Woman to a dance number from the 1965 Bollywood musical Gumnam. Despite underperforming at the box office, Ghost World picked up an Oscar nomination for Best Screenplay and earned significant plaudits for its leading ladies, both of whom were on their way to greater things. As for Zwigoff, his future projects included Bad Santa and Art School Confidential, although Ghost World, with its hauntingly ambiguous and much debated ending, remains his best known and best loved film. Mm -hmm.